Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with Kelly and Dr. Jeff. Today we have a question for you guys. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night and take a step out to go to the bathroom or if you wake up and you get a sudden jarring pain in your foot? That might be plantar fasciitis. What might plantar fasciitis be? Well, plantar fasciitis, your plantar fasciitis, uh, Kelly, is actually a tissue. It runs kind of from the bottom of your heel here and the inside of your foot and runs down to your toes and it's a fascia, it supports your arch. That's what keeps your arch up. Uh, in place and it has a bit of a contractile property to it so what can happen at night is that uh, the arch will actually the plantar fascia actually contract a little bit and get a little tight and when you step on it your arch flattens a little bit that stretches that arch and it pulls on that back of the heel and you get a sharp jabbing pain in the heel um, once you take a few steps quite often that arch will uh, plantar fascia will actually stretch out and uh, and feel better Again, if you go too far on it, or if you have improper mechanics or something, it can actually get worse. But generally, after those first few steps, it starts to feel better. But as soon as you lie down again, or you sit down too long at work, and you step on again, the same thing happens again. Yeah, and so some risk factors for plantar fasciitis would be improper foot mechanics or biomechanics. So improper gait, or if you have high arches or flat feet. Also, if you wear improper footwear, um, as well as walking barefoot in the sand with no support, can can exacerbate that pain that you feel from your plantar fascia, as well as if you're over the age of 40 or overweight. So some things that you can do at home for home remedies for your plantar fasciitis pain, you can take a frozen water bottle and you can just roll your foot on top of it to massage that arch. You can also stretch out your calves to prevent any tight calves from exacerbating any of that pain as well as doing towel crunches. So if, if you take a towel and you put your bare foot on top, and you kind of crunch your toes and kind of scrunch up that towel, that'll help strengthen that uh, plantar fascia. Yeah, so your actual uh, calf actually comes down and attaches, your Achilles attaches around the plantar fascia. So we find a lot of people that have plantar fasciitis, one of the, the factors they have is they've got really tight calves from either too much running um, or, or doing things. And we actually see a lot of this stuff in, in the late uh, winter months in like February, March, uh, or in the summer, like August and September, because people go out to the beaches, uh, go down south, and, and they start walking on the beaches in bare feet, and they having to use the toes to kind of squish the sand and push them forward. Uh, so you see a lot of this in the in the in that time of year. Um, so if you're doing a home remedies and it doesn't seem to get better, what we can do here is shockwave is the best thing for it, shockwave therapy. Then it's about five sessions over over three weeks. Uh, we combine that with some laser therapy. Uh, that's generally enough to, to get rid of your plantar fascia. Um, if that doesn't seem to be getting rid of it or it keeps coming back uh, because of the poor foot mechanics or things like that, uh, we can always get you some orthotics. We use the foot max orthotic system here uh, and we can get some orthotics to support that arch. Uh, and it's really good to, to get orthotics, but they only work when you wear them. So we'd rather try and fix the problem instead of having to spend the money on orthotics. So, Again, doing your home exercise routine. If that doesn't work, we do some shockwave therapy. Um, and then the, car, the uh, orthotics is kind of the last resort. Yeah. And so we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about plantar fasciitis, drop us a comment down below. Make sure to share this video with your friends as well. And if you have any questions, just come on into the clinic and we can do our best to answer it. And so as always here at Goldsworthy Chiropractic, we, we got, got your back. back.